this is code.org and this looks ambitious. Let's see. Color pixelation task two. Let's see if you can take a sampling from a picture of the of one of the images from the previous level right here. Try your best to match the colors using the widget and reproduce the gradient. Yikes. Don't worry if it doesn't match exactly yet. Well, I don't think it will. Remember, you can adjust the setting of the widget using the sliders so you can experiment with using even more bits per pixel. Ooh, boys. <laughs> okay, let's get going here. So I'm going to try to do, I guess I should have said, this one right here, this pink to yellowish one. All right. Now, oh, there it is again. We are going to obviously need more. So maybe I'll do 12. And it was a rectangle. So eight. I don't think that's going to be enough. Hmm. Maybe 16 by 9, like a high, uh, high def TV. I'll try that. And so that top line was pink. Now remember, this controls the width, bits per pixel, image height, and all that. So we can ignore that. Now the top line was that pinkish color. So to create a pinkish color with six digits, the first three are my red ones, right? It's going to be almost max red, I would think, for, um, for a pink color. So I will do... Well, no, I'll max out all the red components. Now, for green, a pinkish color, if you remember back, color mixing and stuff like that, I'm going to say zero. I'll do a one in the tens place, you could think of that as. So it's zero, one, and zero. And then for blue, I'm going to do a lot more blue, but not max. So one, one, and zero. Oh, good. And that's giving me a pinkish. So this is one, one, zero for blue. Just a 10 you could think of for green and max for red for this first one. And that whole top line, well, actually, it was kind of white to begin with at a corner. So I might do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, all ones should be white. And it got darker as it went, but not much darker. I'm going to actually control C or right click copy. Oops. Copy and then I'm going to paste this because most of that top line was pink. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing 16 by 9. Let's do... We'll see how accurate I can get with 12 by 8. Um, boom, boom. And then the top corner was fairly white, so I'm actually going to do another one of these. And I can play with the shading somewhat. I think it did get a bit darker as we went this way. And for it to be darker than... Mm, no, no, that top row was pretty even. I'm trying to think back. Yeah, that's going to be a solid shade. We're good. All right, so now this next row we would need to be a bit lighter. I am then going to... So I don't think this next row will start with... Well, yeah, we'll start with white, and I'm just going to control C this, control V. And so we're going to start with white again, and it, it would be a bit lighter. And to make that happen, I'm actually going to take this down like that, maybe, and pump up the green. Hmm. That's a bit lighter. I'll go with that. It's pretty hard to do this, actually. So I'm going to control C, control V. And then I'm going to do white again because it kind of blurs off the edge. Hmm, but it's a bit uneven, so actually I'm not going to do that. I'll do more white the next round. But not this. Cool. All right. Now, this time it gets even more kind of blurring into white as it turns towards yellow. But since I'm going to do this slowly, I'm going to copy this entire line. Copy. Hit enter, paste it, and do some tweaks. So maybe I don't want to start off with all white again, because it's becoming kind of standard. Um, let's do kind of a blurred white. So by that I mean I'm going to get rid of just a little bit of the green. Zero, 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 zero. 
So it's black now, but I'm gonna add. And during this part, I get confused about colors mess up and have to redo stuff. I'm gonna speed through it for your benefit, so but da Okay, that one got really messy. I'm gonna do one, 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 100, 100. Okay, and that's a bit of a different color. It stands out, but that's fine. It's, it's a bit odd on the sides. And then I'm gonna make this white again. Jeez, this is hard to do. All right, and now as it gets blurred into the yellow, I'm actually gonna go with this color for my entire row. And then I need a yellowy. So that's gonna have a lot more green than what I have been doing. So let's do a, well, I'm gonna use that same color at first, this one. And then I want, let's put red on almost max, one, one, zero, or well, we could do all of red. And then we can do a lot of green. So I'm gonna do one, one, zero one one of green and then for blue let's do one zero zero mm. what if we max out green and red oh and not blue oh that's perfect so all everything but the last one is hmm yeah, that's kind of a mix, kind of a tannish. So I'll go with that. I'm gonna hit copy and I'm just gonna paste a bunch. And this row kind of in the center blended together. So I wanna make this a bit more, nope. Pink. Yeah, it kind of smushes in, up into that pink color. So I'm gonna use that. Ooh, this one's fun. All right, and then it fully goes yellow. So for this one, then I'm gonna say white because there is kind of a smudge near at the front. And then I'm gonna use the color that I was using for my yellow, which was not that color, not at all. Oof. Okay, and then this is gonna be the next line. And see how yellow this is? And it's because everything but one of the blue dots is on. So red and green make yellow, and then mixing in the blue gives it the bit of a pinkish tint, hopefully. Now, I wanna make this more yellow. So depending on how strong I wanna make it, they make it really strong yellow by the end. And you can see how bright that is if I do all zeros. So maybe I'll just do two zeros at the end for this row and then all zeros for the last. Yeah, and then this was not an easy one. <laughs> I'm gonna do all zeros for blue here. And so it will just be this really sharp yellow image. Perfect. <laughs> It's exactly like theirs. See? Let's, uh, here, I can pull it over. I magicked my way into a split screen, but I'm sure this can, you can see now that mine is absolutely identical to the example. <laughs> but, hey, I'm proud of it. I got some colors. It helps you understand how turning pixels on and off, ones and zeros, is uh, demonstrates how binary is going to function. One being true, zero being false, and this being an awesome picture. But uh Onward. Oh, except definitely don't click that. Don't start over. Scroll down. Onward.